From freedom fighter to Limpompo Premier and lawmaker in the National Parliament, Ngwagora Matlodi has, without a doubt, faced many difficult challenges in his life. But his appointment as the country's new mining minister could be his toughest challenge yet. He must find innovative ways to end the country's longest and most devastating strike. All attempts to break the deadlock have failed, resulting in serious losses for the economy and mass starvation on the platinum belt. Ramatlod is unfazed by the challenge. He is confident he can succeed where everyone has failed so far. The first step is to seek an agreement between the workers the currently on strike and with the mining houses. But for Ramatlod to have any chance of success, he will need to mend fences with AMCO. The union doesn't regard the government as an honest broker. It accused Ramatlodi's predecessor, Susan Shabangu, of working against it in favor of its bitter rival, Num. I'll be meeting with AMCO as part of the consultation processes. And uh, AMCO can rest assured that uh, they'll receive equal and fair respect from my ministry and from the government. They are a real stakeholder and we can't pretend they're not. But the challenge goes beyond the current platinum strike. Mining as a whole has experienced much labor unrest in recent years. Stakeholders agree that to bring about lasting stability, the desperate living conditions of mine workers must be improved as a matter of agency. But so far, there's been a lot of talk and little action in that regard. Ramachori says he is already working to change that. I've been talking to people of human settlements already, the ministers here that it appears to me like uh, they might have to come in fairly quickly to begin to address the issues of accommodation there. And obviously we'll have to talk about sanitation as well so that we create proper living conditions for the workers out there. Whether Ramatlodi will succeed where everyone has failed remains to be seen. But there is no doubt that the whole country is praying that he does. Bongini Mutua, SABC News, Johannesburg.